Good morning campers. So today I'm going to do a review on two items that people are generally dissatisfied with um, and for good reason. I certainly am one of those people over the many years. These are two Black & Decker battery powered vacuum cleaners. One is a handy vac, a dust buster, and the other is a floor cleaner. And the reason that I am doing the Black & Decker is because I years ago standardized on their 20 volt battery this guy right here and I have a lot of these I have them for my power equipment my garden equipment you know you name it and I found it to be a very good platform the batteries last pretty long I have like six of these batteries so I never run out of power when I'm working on anything they're not huge like some of the, the new ones that are double the size of these things Anyway, it's, it's been a good platform for me, so that's why I went with Black & Decker, and I bought this one first, and after a year of use, I bought this one because I was so happy with this guy. So we'll start with this one, and <clears throat> I will start by pointing out that my entryway is not paved. There's all these little pebbles that are the size of a BB or smaller, which means... I constantly track them into my cars. So let's see how this thing performs. And I'm gonna tell you in advance, it's great. This is a really good hand vac, this dust buster. It's really good. This is what my truck or Jeep look like about every week. It's just all of that stuff from my driveway. And um, it's kind of amazing. Let's give this thing a try. All right, that's good enough for illustration purposes. This is the best I've ever had. Typically, these things have a cord to plug them in. The battery is internal, and they don't last very long, and the battery goes back. This battery just lasts a long time. This thing pulls vacuum like crazy. It has an attachment up here that I don't have on right now, but it, it extends, and it's smaller, so it'll fit into tight places. It cleans very easily. You just push the button, rotate this canister, which holds a lot. And, uh, and then dump it out, and it's it's clean. You can hang it up on the wall. Uh, it comes with that attachment. I got it off Amazon. I got everything off Amazon. If I'm ever looking for a new wife, I'm just going to go on Amazon. And it really does a job. I can't tell you how happy I am with this thing and how surprised I am that I finally have a, uh, a good working handheld vacuum. Very pleased. And next up... Based on the success of that handheld, this is basically another handheld with an attachment and a rug beater, an electric rug beater. So I got this, and this this is a, a yeah, I don't know, a good and a bad. Uh, it's working for me. It has its its positive points, and uh, it has some things that are not so great. It is a battery vac, and just like the uh, uses the exact same battery, same charger. That's it. Uh, one of the things I really like about it is <clears throat> it just stands up. I mean, that's four feet tall, and it just stands up. I leave it wherever I want it, and there it is. It's wonderful. This blue extension comes off, so you can make it shorter if you're doing your stairs. Very convenient. Um, and you can use it just remove the entire thing and use it as a hand vac. So that's, that's really nice. Um, it steers like magic. I love how it steers. Just a little twist, definitely one hand, and it gets into the tightest places while it's rolling, really effective. And then again, like I said, just like that, and it's stored now about its operation. 
Now I have three things. Number one, right over there, I have a dog with a PhD in manufacturing fur. So I have to vacuum every day. Truly, I have to vacuum every day. It's unbelievable. I can make a sweater in like two days. Um, <clears throat> so my regular home vac was just a pain in the butt, you know, a 20 foot cord or whatever. So I, I decided to go battery. And so I bought this thing. It has some cool features. One, the canister, it's not very big. And, and with the fur monster, I have to change it about every three days. But it's just like that. Boom, just like that. Then you take it over to your, your sink or your laundry room, pop the bottom off, give it a whack, and then you come on back here and you're back in business. I'm not looking at it straight on. So there's that. Um, like I said before, this comes off great. The rug beater is kind of cool. So you have power on off speed and I just run it at, at top speed because that's the only way it really has enough suction. It doesn't have near the suction of the little handheld dust buster. And then this guy down here as you can barely see turns the rug beater on or off. The default every time you turn it on the rug beater works. Now I have stone floors with an irregular surface and I have carpet both. It's If the rug beater is on all it does is throw the debris back behind it. It's no good. So I do the stone floors with the rug beater off and I'd say it gets 80 plus percent of what's on the floor. Some stuff it just kind of misses uh, but it, it does a, a good enough job. But the nice thing is it's just so easy to move around. Again, leave it there. Now it's much better on carpet and it's great on the stairs. Get rid of this extension, bring the rug beater up, do your stairs. It takes minutes if the thing weighs like, I don't know, five pounds. It's really light. And you can do your stairs lickety split and it does a great job, which I will show you. Now I didn't bother to take the extension off because I'm just going to do this little platform, but uh, on the stairs, look how it maneuvers and gets in the tight places, pulls the nap up on the carpeting really nicely, really, really does a good job, nice and fast. And then, because of the fur monster, and he has indoor-outdoor privileges all day, which he takes advantage to drag dirt in, um, I'm on the carpeting, and it pulls up fur very nicely. So like I say, on the, on the carpet, it does a great job. has a nice low profile, so it'll get under the tables and get under the sofa, and, and easy to maneuver once again. So what I'm saying is that for if you have a carpeted house, you're going to be very happy with this. Hard floors, that's okay. It does a decent job. Uh, not, not great. I don't know if they're any better for the battery operated. But it's, uh, it works for me, and I get about 10 minutes total charge. I have a two-story house, so I get 10 minutes, which is enough to do either the upstairs or the downstairs. And, of course, I have all the extra batteries. So I can go to town. So for an everyday vac, which, which again, with the fur, fur machine I got here, every day is what it takes. Uh, this works out for me. So I'm happy.